This is Mr. O. I've got lots of messages. That means it's time for Mr. O reads messages. Without cats. Do the music. So my first message is from Venus. She is one of my students now. Uh, she sent this on the 30th of March this year. And she just said, I love your videos. Thank you, Venus. That's very sweet. Message number two is from Ashvin, who is an old student of mine, sent on the 6th of June. He says, uh, hello, Mr. O, do you remember me? Yes. I'm Ashvin. I love Mr. O gets it wrong because they are very funny. Thank you for saying so, Ashvin. Uh, you can watch a complete playlist of uh, Mr. O gets it wrong videos. Uh, have a look in the description and I will link the playlist and that will play all of the videos for you one after the other. Next, this is a message from another teacher. Uh, uh, his name is David. He, uh, he sent this message on the 3rd of January 2021 this year. Uh, just one of the first messages of the year. And he wrote, Hello Mr. O, I just wanted to tell you that I enjoy hearing your voice and watching your videos. David, thank you. That's very sweet. How many Christmas sweaters or jumpers do you own? I actually don't know how many I own, quite a few, but I do know that I wore all of them uh, in my last uh, Messages with Cats video, uh, which uh, was came out right at the beginning of the year. Uh, Mr. O reads Messages with Cat 6. You can actually see that I wear all of my Christmas jumpers in that video. So if you'd like to find out the answer to that question, have a look and you can count them up for yourself. This is from Aidan Sang, regular correspondent Aidan Sang, or Aidan Zhang. He says, how, uh, how did you meet Croc and will you make a video about it? Uh, yes, I do plan to make a video about how I met and uh, you can see that sometime soon. We haven't seen Croc uh, for a long time. Um, Croc is normally in the Mr. O plays videos. Uh, the first time that you see Croc is uh, in Mr. O plays Chinese checkers. Then, wait, what are you eating? Oh no, don't eat the marbles. Uh, the most recent time we have seen Croc has been in uh, where I make the secret diary. So if you would like to see more of Croc, check out those videos. Aidan also says, uh, if you do make that video, I would be looking forward to watching it. Also, your cats are very cute and look very comfortable in their box. Yes, uh, but uh, evidently they are very comfortable somewhere else today. Next, this is a message from another old student, uh, Boris. He sent this on the 12th of May. He writes, hi, Mr. O. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Yes, Boris, it has been a very long time. Uh, I miss you very much, uh, as well as all of uh, the classmates in that class. Uh, if you'd like to send me a message, if you are a new student or an old student, uh, you can visit my website. Uh, it's on the screen right now, and you can go to the Messages tab and you can send me a message. Please do not send me your email address. Just send me a message and I will answer in one of these videos. Message number six, this is from Adrienne. She wrote to me on the 2nd of February. She writes, uh, Hello, Mr. O, we haven't talked for a long time. That's true. I actually have two questions. Where do you teach and when did you move to Hong Kong? Sorry if it's too much and love your videos. Bye bye, Mr. O. Uh, I teach in Chung Kwan O. Uh, it's pretty easy to find out 
where, I'm not gonna say it in this video, but uh, if you do a bit of Googling, you'll be able to find out where I teach. And uh, I came to Hong Kong in 2008. Uh, so I've been here for 13 and a half, around about 13 and a half years. So it's a long time. Next, this message is from Donald. Uh, this came to me on the 21st of March, 2021. It says, hello. Did you know that it is possible to send letter totally legally? We suggesting a new legitimate method of sending request through feedback forms, such forms. We offer you to test our service for free. We will send up to 50,000 messages for you. The cost of sending 1 million messages is 49 US. This is spam. Never reply to spam. Uh, this next message is from regular correspondent Ella Chan, who wrote to me on the 7th of February and wrote, Hello, I didn't write to you for a while because I've been busy with my schoolwork. Well, that's a good kind of busy. Have you ever watched Avatar The Last Airbender? This cartoon is the best I've ever seen. Uh, no, I haven't. I'm aware of it, but uh, I've never watched it. I know they made a movie, a live action movie of it too, but uh, never seen it. Uh, my YouTube channel already has 235 subscribers. Well done. Very good. Uh, and Happy New Year. Thank you. What Marvel movies are your favourites? Me, Avengers 1-4, to Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp. She says that she's a huge fan of Spider-Man. I'm not really into the Marvel movies, and I think part of it is because it's the cin it's the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and you kind of need to watch all of them to understand what's happening in any of them. Um, and I find that a bit of an investment in time. Uh, so I've not really watched... In fact, I tried to watch Spider-Man Homecoming, and I didn't really understand what was happening, because I hadn't seen whatever film came before that. So, yeah... Not too keen, to be honest, at the moment, uh, but uh, if you'd like to know which superheroes I like, uh, Spider-Man is one of them, you can check out my uh, top 10 favourite superhero uh, video, top, my top 10 favourite superheroes video, uh, check that out in the, uh, there's a link in the description below. Thank you, Ella. Next, this is uh, a message from Mark who wrote to me on the 2nd of July, so I'm recording this uh, in the middle of July, so it's this month. He writes, Hey there, Mr. O. I just found out your channel while I was watching YouTube. I love your MTR board game videos. Thank you. Uh, if you don't mind, could you give me a shout out? My YouTube channel is AK Map. Thank you very much. Certainly, Mark. Consider yourself shouted out. Uh, I will link to Mark's channel in the description as well. And uh, you can see all of the MTR games uh, again in the Mr. O Plays playlist on this channel. Next message is from Yuki, who is my student at the moment. She wrote to me on the 13th of May and she wrote, Mr. O, it's me, Yuki. I'm here to ask you, what are your second and third favorite video games? It's kind of a funny question. Have I answered what is my first favorite video game? I'm not sure. Uh, mine is Royale High Roblox. You can actually learn from that game. Yes, I'm sure you can. Um, uh, some games that I really love. I really love Flashback, uh, which is a, a Mega Drive game. Love that very much. Um, I always say Tomb Raider is one of my favourite uh, ever games as well. Maybe they're my second and third. Maybe I'll have to make a video with my favourite games by system. Uh, so you can know the full answer to that question. Uh, she, Yuki says, if you want to learn more, go to my channel, and uh, I will link that in the description as well. Thank you, Yuki. Next, uh, this is actually an email. It says, Dear Mr. O, thank you for joining the Reading KOL program in 2018. You're welcome. Recently, the Hong Kong Public Libraries is preparing the Stories on Board program in which we will upload storytelling videos to the HKPL's YouTube channel and LCSD's edutainment channel for public enjoyment. So this is Hong Kong Public Library and the Leisure and Cultural Services Department. Uh, we are inviting 
authors, illustrators, teachers, and others to deliver about eight storytelling videos for the program. You are cordially invited to be one of the storytellers to deliver a 10 to 15 minute story uh, in the program so as to cultivate the reading habits of the younger generation. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Regards. Wow. Well, uh, this actually has, this is kind of an old email. This has been going on for a little while. Um, I am due to uh, uh, record my storytelling video uh, at the end of this month. So it's uh, in about a week and a half. Um, I don't know when it will be released. I'll have to edit it and check some things. It might take another couple of months, but uh, hopefully uh, September or October, I guess, uh, the video will be out and you will be able to see me, Mr. O, reading on the Hong Kong Public Library's YouTube channel. I am very, very honored to be asked to do that. I really love the Hong Kong Public Library everything about it. The the people are great, the libraries are wonderful, we're very lucky to have such a, a great range of libraries in Hong Kong and I encourage everybody, everybody, to go to the library um, as much as you can. It's, uh, as I say, we are extremely lucky to have great libraries in Hong Kong. Um, if you want to look at my reading KOL program video, uh, it's not on this channel actually, it's on the Hong Kong Public Library channel, uh, I will link to that in the description. This next message is another one from Aidan Sang or Aidan Zhang, uh, 13th of July, which is very recently. He says, when you were playing Minecraft, I was bursting out in laughter. I have played Minecraft for four years and watching you learn was hilarious. Thanks. Tip, you should keep your crafting table and put your wood on the crafting table to make tools such as swords, pickaxes, shovels, and axes. Thank you, Aiden. Yes, uh, it turns out that I really wasn't very good at Minecraft. Uh, lots of people have been giving me lots of messages and tips about playing Minecraft. I don't know if I'm going to play it again, uh, but uh, I was glad. I'm glad that I have made a lot of people laugh with my attempts at playing it. Uh, this is a message from Joey, also on the 13th. He said, Mr. O, can me and John play Minecraft with you? Maybe. Uh, this is a WhatsApp message with one of my friends uh, who said that he had watched or he'd heard about my Minecraft video and he wrote to me to say, I only know you didn't know how to set up a fire, lol. I wrote, yeah, it was difficult. He said, uh, it's so funny to watch that. I think you can try Don't Starve next time. It's another sandbox game, but more, but with more user-friendly instructions. Um, I said, it turns out I was really, really rubbish. And he said, haha, you have to do more research first. Yeah, I know. But uh, I think, you know, the point was that I was a bit rubbish at Minecraft. And uh, I think that uh, that is what gets the conversation going. So I'm going to leave it at that. This last message uh, is actually a letter that I got through the post. And I'm very excited about this. Um, this is the the message. It says, uh, here is the textbook, uh, New E for English, uh, the sixth, for maybe sixth edition or year six. Your video is on page 44. The credit line is at the back of the book. So I think I mentioned this in a previous Mr. O Reads Messages. It is the textbook uh, featuring me on page 44. So there is a chapter in this book about Tom Gates and look who it is introducing Tom Gates to the English learning French speaking people of the world especially France uh, there's me and my bandana bit of a beard going on but that's all right uh, and part of this textbook is that you go to the video and you can watch uh, me and I introduced the book. It's actually just the, pretty much the same as my Tom Gates video, but uh, there it is. So I'm tremendously proud uh, to have done that and to have been included. And uh, it says right there, Mr. O reads Tom Gates, discover the book with his help. If you are watching this uh, from France and you are studying new E for English, uh, please send me a message. I would love to hear what you think and uh, how you feel about 
listening to my voice to learn a bit of English uh, in your classes. That is it from me, Mr. O'Ree's Messages with Cats number seven. With entirely no cats at all in this video, uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.